Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. This is our .NET Core BPP series. So part of this video, I'm going to cover below two topics. The first one is creating PDF with multiple copies. For the real-time example, just to consider one invoice, I'm going to generate two copies. One is for customer copy and another one is for company copy. And the second one is creating multiple content in this same PDF page. So the same real-time scenario, we can take this invoice delivery addresses. For the example, if you say I'm having uh, 25 records, I mean 25 invoices, so that means our PDF file has seven pages. The first six pages having four four records, so the final page have only one record. So this concept will cover in my second topic. So here I listed out all the steps. We can go one by one. So the first thing is we have to install these packages. So already I have completed this step. And the second one, we have to include these three namespaces that also already done. So under the third step is we have to generate our HTML content. So using the HTML content, we can generate our PDF. Okay, this is my generating PDF function. So actually I have created the separate video for this one. I will share that link also in this description. If required, you have to watch it. So I am fetching the data from databases. So once I am having the data, I'm generating some kind of HTML content and this PDF generator will generate the PDF file. So at the end, I am returning the responses file. Okay. First we can test this one. After that, we have to include this multiple copies. Okay. This is the method. I have provided one invoice number. Okay. We have this file response. So you now we have these invoices. So currently it is having only one copy. Now I'm going to implement my logic here. So here I'm going to declare one string array first. We can provide two values, customer copy and another one is company copy. So then I'm going to make this for loop. Okay, this is fine. And next, I'm going to include one more header here. So this is for showing the copies. Okay, this is fine and the very important thing is Okay, here we are getting this error Okay, here the idea is very simple. So using this add PDF pages, so we are setting the contents Okay, the, okay, the first time we are setting the customer copy and the second time we are setting our company copy. Okay So we can test this one and this invoice number. Yeah, we can have First one is customer, then it's a company copy. So the same service we can verify from Angular application also. So in this Angular application, we already implemented the functionality. So that also I have created the separate video. So I will share that link also in this description. You have to watch it. Now I'm going to click this print. So you know, we have two copies. Okay, first one is the customer copy. And the second one is our company copy. So if I'm trying some other invoices, invoice 007 it will work invoice 007 again we have this customer copy and also this company copy okay so now we have completed our first topic generating pdf with multiple copies the second one is creating multiple content in this same pdf page okay for doing this functionality let me copy this one So as I mentioned, I'm going to uh, create this PDF for the addresses. 
so we can provide like generate and here there is no parameters required we can remove this one and this copy is also not required just let me get the list of invoice information so invoice header so we have the method is called get all invoice header okay let me generate the for loop for this one here we can take these three HTML lines that is more than enough and other things we can remove And in this file name, we have to provide like a invoice address. Okay. First, we have to generate our HTML template. For doing this one, I'm going to follow one of the easiest step. I'm going to save this one. Address start HTML. Just I would have saved in this HTML format. I'm going to close this one. Let me open this in our Visual Studio. So you have to design based on your requirement. customer name address so here total payable amount so here we can provide some values okay so this is my basic template okay it should be like this so I am going to copy this one so basically when you are including it will include some additional spaces that we supposed to remove it next we can take this customer name so we can get the static value from our list so anyway we already generated the for loop also item dot customer name after that I'm going to include on bold attack So next we can use this H2 tag. So here I am going to use this delivery addresses. So finally we have to include one more HTML content. Okay. So actually this is for the payable amount. So we can provide the text. So net total is nothing but our payable amount okay so 
so we have done right now I'm going to save this one we can check the existing output after that we have to include some customization work okay okay we have the response okay see now so the so our design template is coming fine but we have the 11 pages so so basically we have the 11 invoices so it is generating the 11 pages but actually it's not our requirement so we should load four records in this single page okay now we can modify our logic here we can declare some variables in process count to zero so the break count also zero okay and I'm going to move this HTML content also outside so the initial value should be string dot empty so let me save this one and every time I'm going to increase the process count and also this break count okay and now I am going to check one condition if break count double equal to 4 so then only I am going to include in this add PDF pages So in this case, I believe we will get the two pages. The final one we want to get. So for getting the final records also, let me include one more small condition here. You process count, invoice list count. So in this situation also, we have to include this one, okay? And one more thing. For this four pages right so in this situation we have to make this break count equal to zero and also our HTML content should be empty I hope it will work anyway we can verify right Okay, see now maybe the design is not fair. Okay, looks like we need to do some small alignments. Other than that, uh, totally three pages are generated. The final page we have three records, and the other two we have the four records. Okay, so in the template point of view, let me make some small corrections here. So let me copy this one. Yes, now I hope it will work fine. Okay, see now it is working fine. Our design also good. We have this customer name, then addresses, and this payable amount. So this is one of the basic template I am following. So what I am recommending to you people is, so first you have to take on HTML page. So whatever complex design, first you have to come to the HTML side. Make sure you have to complete your template in this HTML side. Then you have to move everything into C sharp side. Make your HTML content in this dynamic manner. So finally generate your PDF file. This is all about the concept. Okay, now we are in the end of the video. Still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box. And also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. So I will include all the reference links and source code in this uh, description. You have to use it. Once again, thank you. Thanks for watching.